mimi ndoto yangu kubwa katika maisha yangu nataka nianipaishe ndege increasingly shaped by technology, the importance of accessible, high-quality education cannot be overstated. In Tanzania, while the potential of digital technologies to revolutionize education is recognized by the government, there are still significant challenges to overcome. One critical issue is the digital divide, particularly for rural secondary students, especially girls or face barriers in accessing educational resources. Through a transformative project funded by BFSS, 1,920 students have gained their first exposure to digital technology for learning. This milestone is a significant stride towards achieving the broader education sector goals outlined in the Tanzanian Education and ICT policy, as well as aligning with Sustainable Development Goal 4 which promotes quality education. Allow us to introduce to you Ifwagi in the Mufindi district, Mloa in the Iringa rural district, and Lunda Matwe in the Kilolo district, three schools now leading the way in digital learning. In a significant leap forward, each of these schools received a computer lab, complete with 20 computers and learning software. However, Lyra recognized that true empowerment extended beyond hardware. They conducted comprehensive training sessions ensuring students, teachers, and digital mentors acquired the essential digital skills needed for success. To understand the situation that existed before the project took root, we sought insights from the very recipients who would be touched by its impact. <laughs> kabla hizi computer bado hazijaletwa hapa mara nyingi sana tukao natumia vitabu na notes ambazo wanapatia walimu lakini hapo ilikuwa ni ngumu kidogo sababu hata hapo zamani kule line ile library ilikuwa bado haipo vitabu vilikuwa ni pichache kwa hiyo wanafunzi wengi wanakuwa wanaenda kule kwa utafuta muda mwingine unakosa vitabu what we discovered was a journey of adaptation particularly for those students who were embarking on their maiden voyage into the realm of computers the narratives painted a vivid picture of newfound experiences and challenges met head on. Mimi kwa history yangu fupi toka nyumbani hatuna computer. Hata jirani yangu. Lakini kuna mara kwanza mwaka mwaka jana na mwanzoni computers hizo fika hapa. Ah mwalimu alivyotushawishi kuingia kujifunza computer, nilipo fika kwanza kushika hii mouse yenyewe nilikuwa natetemeka. Kwanza mko nashikaje mouse Hivi vipi ukiona kwa nini wafanya fanya hivi? Kwa nini ilikuwa napata ta, napata shida kweli au taabu? Nipata taabu kweli. Lakini mpaka sasa hivi hivi nashukuru Mungu. Naweza hata nikatumia hivi kwa chochote kile ninachotaka kutokana na uwezo niliopata hapa hapa shuleni. Siku ya kwanza sikugusa. Nilikuwa na mdo wangu wa form 1, yeye ndo alikuwa anaitumia. Japo naweza kwamba yani alikuwa naye haelewi, alikuwa tu anatumia yani mouse mara peleke huko mara peleke huko basi wote tukaepo kama wajinga tu pale. Nilipoingia muda mwingine, yani siku nyingine nikashika mouse. Kwanza kushika mouse na tetemeka. Yaani na tetemeka. Nikaa eh usini nitaweza. Afu kitu kingine kuandika. Yaani ufi mchanganyiko. Wewe unakuta A ipo huku B ipo kule. Kwa hiyo nikaa na naangaika sana. Yaani mpaka niambie kuandika mpaka nikamaliza. Eh siolewa lakini sasa hivi shazoea kwa mara ya kwanza mimi kuingia computer lab nilikuwa nashinda namna ya kuconnect power na CPU power na monitor 
na waya, na VGA waya kutoka kwenye CPU kwenda kwenye monitor. Lakini nilipoingia computer lab nilijifunza na nilielewa namna ya kuwasha na kuzima computer na namna gani naweza kujisajili na elimika na nikatumia elimika katika kujifunza. Watoto walikuwa hawajui computer. Yaani walikuwa wanasikia tu kama vile tukiwafundisha. Yaani ukitaja neno computer mtoto hajui. Au mwingine anaweza kuambia madam hii radio kwa sababu hiyo CPU. Mwingine anaweza akakwambia madam hii ni nini? Ni TV. Sawa. Kwa hiyo kila mtu alikuwa ana describe computer kutokana na kile anachokiona. Kwa sababu mfano akiangalia CPU anaweza akasema hii itakuwa ni radio ambayo imefanyaje? Imepunguzwa ukubwa. After the implementation, the impact was immediate and profound. Ndoto yangu ilikuwa nesi sana sana uwendo wa ukunga ndio napenda sana. Kwa hiyo nikija kwa upande wa hizi computer au mradi wa kidigitali ambao umekuja hapa kwenye performance yangu umenisaidia kwa sababu walimu wanakuja na notes zao tunaenda library kuchukua vitabu lakini naweza kuvuta notes labda sijatosh yani si has gani nitosheleza miao sijajifurahia sana kwao nasema labda huwa niende na computer nikaangalie kuna nini. Nikija huko mnachukua material mbalimbali naenda kuunganisha na yale yanayosaidia kujibu mchana yao. Aki ukweli computer zimeweza kusaidia moja zimeni improve kitaaluma ambapo hata ukiangalia matokeo yangu ukija ya moko nilifanya vibaya sawa ninakubali lakini ukija mtani ambao tumefanya mwezi wa 9 September midterm nimefanya vizuri kwa sababu niongeza jitihada za kuja huku kujisomea na kuchukua material mbalimbali ah computer zimenisaidia ukitaka kuangalia kutoka kidato cha kwanza ni kwa siwezi kupata one kwa mfano nilikuwa napata ma, matokeo yangu yalikuwa ni kupata division 3 kwa mfano kama kusinge kuepo na computer kungekuwa kuna nadharia tu ambayo ni theory kidarasa kida darasani nisingeweza kufanikiwa mpaka hapa nilipofikia kwa kupata one katika maisha yangu ningependa kuja kuwa daktari na hii digital learning inanisaidia kuja kufikia ndoto yangu kwa sababu kuna apps ambazo ninazitumia kwa ajili ya kujifunza zaidi. Uwepo wa computer lab shuleni kwetu ifuagi sekondari umekuwa ni umekuja kwa wakati sahihi sana kwa sababu sasa tupo katika kipindi cha utandawazi ambacho kinamtaka kila mtu walau awe anajifunza vitu vinavyoendana na kidigitali. Hivyo basi imesaidia kupanua uwezo wa watoto katika kujifunza na kuelewa zaidi kwa kuona vitu halisi anavyovikuta katika kompyuta. Hata katika matokeo ufaulu ume, umepanda. Kwa maana ya kwamba mwaka 2021 na moja, kidato cha nne ambapo tulikuwa tuna kompyuta, tulikuwa hatuna hostel kidato cha nne kwenye matokeo yao tulikuwa tuna division 02 lakini 2022 na mbili hatukuwa na division 0 kabisa. Imepunguza ile nguvu ya watoto kwenda kujificha huko maporini. Kwa hiyo mtoto badala ya kwenda kujificha maporini, saa hizi mfano ukafika darasani hakuna mtoto, ukija huko unamkuta. Kwangu binafsi imenisaidia sana kwa sababu before nilikuwa sijui matumizi ya kompyuta. Kompyuta nilikuwa naishia tu kuziona ni ile pale lakini sielewi baadhi ya programs, baadhi ya vitu zile parts of computer nilikuwa zote sizijui. Lakini kwa sasa hivi nimepata uelewa na ninaelewa kuna baadhi ya vitu vingine nimeweza kuvielewa zaidi ya pale nilipokuwa najua kama kwa mfano programs of computer zote nazifahamu haya nimejifunza mpaka namna ya kutengeneza website hivi vyote nilikuwa sivijui kwa hiyo na mimi sasa hivi naona nipo upande wa digitali zaidi but progress comes with its own set of challenges unreliable electricity high costs of electricity lack of internet connectivity and high student per computer ratio are among the challenges highlighted by beneficiaries changamoto tunazo lakini tunajitahidi kuendelea kukabiliana nazo changamoto ya kwanza kwa mtalabu yetu ni ndogo sana na ukilinganisha na idadi ya wanafunzi kwamba haumu hata tukichukua mkondo mmoja ambao na wanafunzi 45 kwa mkupua hawatoshi kitu ambacho tunachokifanya cha kwanza ni sharing kwamba kompyuta moja waweza akatumia wanafunzi watatu ama wawili kutokana na wingi wa wanafunzi tunatamani wakati mwingine tukipata bahati tuweze kuwa na labda internet ambayo itatusaidia pia ku zaidi kwa walimu pia wanafunzi kuweza kusaidia katika kuendelea kuboresha kufanya kazi katika mm, katika mfumo huu wa kidigitali wanafunzi sometimes wanakuja wengi yani hizi kompyuta unashangaa kompyuta moja inatumia wanafunzi watatu wa nne ambapo inaani inapelekea 
yani kujikuta labda na unasoma kitu ambacho ukutarajia au unajifunza kitu ambacho ukutarajia muda mwingi wamekuwa akifika pale computer lab anataka kujifunza lakini umeme haupo eh na warudisha wanarudi lakini wanakuwa wanasononeka ninawapa moyo njooni kesho njooni muda fulani mimi ukiwa vizuri mtajifunza mta mtapata kile kitu ambacho mnakitaka despite the challenges this project is more than just a success story it is a blueprint for a brighter future in Tanzanian education when we talk about impact we really have to think where we are talking about this impact from we're not talking about Tanzania Dar es Salaam where the you know cities and exposure is higher we're talking about Iringa we're not talking about Iringa city we're talking about rural Iringa very remote places so in in us really even thinking the possibility of having a computer lab in this place in this regions is really stuck so we see that students now are even registering ICT as a subject in their final exams we have one of the schools called Ifwagi which registered um, ICT as one of their core subjects where students will be able to be examined on on the national curriculum for Lyra the success of this project is the justification for upscaling to more rural schools both in Iringa and other regions. We, we do hope to scale it up because Lyra is going national. It's um, not only just in Iringa, so we are now um, present in Dodoma as well. We hope to be present in Tuara, in Zanzibar and in other parts of rural Tanzania where education is um, a challenge or equitable access to education is a challenge. So in doing this, we would hope to impact the digital divide because it's fairly stuck between the cities, for example, for Tanzania and the rural parts of Tanzania. So we hope to bridge this digital divide and promote equitable access to education, particularly for girls that would be left out in such subjects, for ICT subjects, but also STEM subjects. In our scaling up to other regions, this will really go hand in hand with our new strategy, but also with the government strategy of promotion of ICT. But all this could not have been possible without the support of the British and Foreign School Society, BFSS. Well, we would like to thank BFSS, right? Because it's, it's been very important. The last three years have been really great for Lyra in, first of all, advancing to their schools, but also changing the young people's lives, both girls and boys. We promote equitable access to education. And the three-year program has allowed us to achieve remarkable successes as we had, uh, as I had listed earlier. And to BFSS, it's, it's gratitude from Tanzania, it's gratitude from Iringa, it's gratitude from rural. So thank you very much BFSS for this start. We asked the beneficiaries to describe this project in one word. Their answers speak volumes. Umradi kwanza ni zuri kwa shule yetu. Uwepo wa mradi wa digital learning katika shule yetu ifuagi sekondari umeleta dira ya ufauru bora kwa shule yetu. Umradi ni bora kwa sababu unatupa uwanja mpana sisi wanafunzi kwa ajili ya ku ya kujisomea. Umekuwa kama msaada wa kuongeza ufauru kwa shule yetu. Lila is the greatest, greatest, more greatest. With unity, determination, and technology, we are closing the digital divide and promoting equitable access to quality education, one school at a time. This is the power of education.